Well, Janet, I'm here at Northside Elementary School. It will open for students and staff this fall. The superintendent tells me she's really excited, but her number one goal is to keep staff and students safe and healthy. The start of school is right around the corner, but COVID-19 is creating its own set of challenges. We are planning for a pandemic that we didn't see coming, um, that no one has done this work before. Superintendent so for Elizabeth City Pasquotank Public Schools Catherine Edmonds says the district will operate under Plan B. It's a mix of in-person and remote learning, and the state requires students to social distance and wear face coverings. But we also have a Plan C option for families who have students that are are vulnerable um, health wise, but also maybe in a high risk category or if someone in their home is at a high risk category. School leaders sent out a survey to parents. It closes next Monday and they are hoping to get more responses. Don't want to have a default that if we don't hear from you, then your child will go to X plan. We want to hear from families so that we can ensure that what we provide is appropriate and what parents would like to have for their children. Sean Bratton has a daughter going into kindergarten at a private school, but she says that school follows Elizabeth City Pasquotank Public Schools guidelines. I'm more for going back into school. My daughter is very social and thrives in school and she's struggling right now having to stay home. Edmund says while the first day of school is approaching fast, things could change. I don't think any plan will be final. Um, because I think we will always have to look at the data and look at what's happening and be able to pivot when we need to. But Edmund says she plans to get feedback about the schedule at a board meeting at the end of this month. And Edmund says a survey is also out for teachers. They can also decide if they want to head back in the classroom or teach from home. Live in Elizabeth City, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.